Hey YouTube family, this is DA Sales with another video today. I appreciate you stopping by, checking me out. And today we're gonna go over uh, some Canadian coinage. I actually uh, have a question for the community. As most of you already know, um, I've started um, stacking Canadian silver. And some Canadian silver is easier to identify for me than others. I'm still doing research, uh, but I wanted to take you along on a journey with me and see uh, some of the experts out there can offer some input, offer some advice uh, to not only teach me, but somebody else that uh, may be a subscriber to the channel that might have similar questions that I have. Um, I think it's fun. I, I'm open to learn. So with that being said, I know, you know, coins like this, you know, these right here are dollars. I know these are uh, 80% silver i know the um pre-1920 these are sterling you know these type of coins i know these are um sterling based on the year all right um you have most of these these are going to be uh, 80 percent as well so you got your uh, 1940, what else you got here? Um, it looks like 49. So these dimes here, uh, I think that's another 49. So these are 80%. The pre-1920s are gonna be uh, 92 and a half. This right here, uh, 1964. That's also going to be 80%. So with that being said, um, I've run into these items here. Um, and what I did is I just purchased them because they were advertised. These were advertised as sterling. Uh, let me let me get some, try to get a little more light over here. Okay. These were advertised as sterling silver um, with uh, gold plating these three here and these were advertised as sterling silver as well I did a little digging and I found a 2009 proof set uh, but in that one the 50 cent piece uh, wasn't sterling silver but I also found somewhere else where from I think 2007 to 2011 uh, the coat of arms 50 cent was showing that silver um, from my understanding um, you should be able to use a, a magnet on non-silver Canadian coins um, to verify that so what I wanted to do is I wanted to ask how do I confirm that these are indeed silver I've had other people ask that. So I have this little magnet here that I use. It's nothing uh, high tech or anything, but <clears throat> I mean, it works for the most part for stuff like this. Uh, you know, it works for stuff like that. So I just wanted, I was just curious if it would work for, um, like for an example, I know they have like Canadian coins have a lot of steel and nickel. Um, I'm just curious, I don't have any to compare it against or I would do a side-by-side -side comparison. Uh, so I wanted to do, I wanted to use this as a learning opportunity to see uh, what you guys think about uh, these right here. <clears throat> are these uh, sterling with gold plating or are they something else? Uh, and how would I, what's the best website, what's the best book and what's the best techniques to um, discover that um, either way I go like I said I just got them I didn't I mean it wasn't a lot of money um, and if I find out that they're not silver uh, there's ways I can get my money back um, and <laughs> I get to learn at the same time so I really appreciate you all taking out time to uh, check out the video uh, let me know below what you think about everything I said today um, offer some insight to the community um, and I appreciate that and I hope everyone has a blessed day